I'm Tyler Young, a Dell Certified Sales Engineer here at XByte Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a high-level comparison between Intel's second-gen Cascade Lake processors and Intel's third-gen Ice Lake processors. In this video, we're going to be covering the technical specs of these processors, the limitations of these processors, and we're even going to get into which Dell PowerEdge server models these processors will be able to accompany. Let's get started. First, let's talk about core count. The Intel 2nd Gen Cascade Lake processors range from 4 cores to 28 cores per socket, and that's pretty good, especially for the time they came out. But take a look at Intel's 3rd Gen Ice Lake processors, we're actually able to scale on a much greater level. So starting at 8 cores, Intel's Ice Lake product line actually is able to scale at a whopping 40 cores per socket. That's huge! Again, that's going from just 28 cores per socket to a maximum of 40 cores per socket. That jump right there is going to allow you to increase the potential workloads and consolidate so many of your current workloads into a smaller physical footprint. And that's just core count alone. Also with the Ice Lake processors comes faster caching, which enables faster access to data, and then also we're going to see faster UPI speeds, which is the interconnect speeds from one processor to another. So basically, increased bandwidth between CPUs themselves, and that's going to increase very slightly as well. There's many other specs I could call out, but those alone should be pretty good indication of how high the ceiling has increased between the two generations. From an architectural standpoint, the Intel 2nd Gen and Intel 3rd Gen processors have a different number of memory channels per processor. So take a look at the 2nd Gen Cascade Lake processors, where we're seeing 6 memory channels per processor and supporting speeds of up to 2933 mega transfers per second. Now take a look at Intel's 3rd Gen, we're actually seeing a slight increase in the amount of channels per processor being that there are 8 memory channels per processor now. So flashback to our other video where we discussed balance configurations and what that means from a memory channel perspective, we're able to assign up to 2 DIMMs per memory channel, so for 2nd gen that's going to give you up to 12 DIMMs per socket, whereas in 3rd gen we're able to populate up to 16 DIMMs per socket. So that's going to contribute to an increased overall memory capacity per socket as well, but again, we're not only seeing increased memory channels and memory capacity, we're also seeing higher supported memory speeds as well. As far as clock speed goes, we are seeing a slight decrease in Intel's 3rd gen Ice Lake processors, that being 3.6 GHz on an 8-core processor. Whereas Intel's 2nd gen processors, if you needed to see a 3.8 GHz clock speed, you have the option of utilizing an Intel Xeon Gold 5222, which is a 4-core gold processor. But since Intel moved away from the 4-core Xeon processors when it advanced to the Ice Lake product line, we're not going to get that higher clock speed. Because for the most part, higher clock speeds correlate to lower core counts. Now, there are some exceptions. I know some of you are like, oh, wait a minute, there's this one that's 16 cores with this clock speed. So yes, there are a few exceptions, depending on the parameters you're highlighting. But generally speaking, higher clock speeds are found in lower core count processors. As far as feature sets go, Ice Lake processors now support Gen 4 PCIe lanes, and each socket supports up to 64 lanes total. Whereas when you look at Intel 2nd Gen, it only supports Gen 3 PCIe slots and up to only 48 PCIe lanes total. The last thing I want to cover here is going to be Optane memory. The Intel 2nd Gen processors are able to support Optane Persistent Memory 100 series, and now with 3rd Gen, we're actually able to see support for Optane Persistent Memory 200 series, which is the next generation of Optane memory. To learn more about Optane memory and common use cases, check out our Optane memory video on our channel. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions or to speak to one of our Dell certified engineers, see the contact information below. To see more videos like this, check out our channel, and as always, please don't forget to subscribe.